So now we're going to try to animate using a phone. We're going to build a stand. So what you need is a stick. I'm going to try to get you each your own stick uh, if you can't make your own. Um, I'm going to take my phone and uh, I'm going to use a couple elastic bands and just attach it to this to the stick. I, I, could, I should probably tighten them on a little bit more than this, get them secure, but uh, I think it'll be okay just uh, for, for, for now. They'll just be loose there. It, they, won't, they won't fall off. Um, my phone is on a stick. Um, I'll just quickly turn on the... Oh, now the elastic bands are in my way. Um, there we go. Okay, so now we have it on camera view and of course, I, I don't want to be looking up. I don't want to be. I don't want to be in selfie mode. I want to be in in um, regular mode, and uh, that's on a stick. I'm going to have to prop this up. So I'm just going to move a couple stacks of books. You guys are students, so you should all have some books around somewhere. Space them out and uh, prop that here. Now I can I can see down here. I can maybe put some some artwork. Uh, right here, and um, take a picture. There we go, and maybe switch switch out. Put a different piece of artwork there. Maybe have some sort of system for lining these up. And there, and uh, so now we can we can see that we, it is overexposed. This exposure is not good, um, but you can see that. You can have artwork down below here, and then you can see it in your in your uh, viewfinder there, and you can just take still pictures. Um, obviously, you, you want to get this everything as secure as you can. So instead of having it just loose like this, we can put say other books on top of here to hold it secure. So um, if you're just taking one image or something, that's okay. But taking a series, you're going to want all of these things as secure as you can make them. Alternatively, you may want to use um, some other small point-and-shoot camera if you have one of these. This, this, this system won't work with a large SLR, but with a small point-and-shoot, uh, it should be able to work. A camera that has a, a threaded hole to mount on a tripod. So what, so, um, what I've done is I've taken these sticks and I have drilled an appropriately sized hole into the bottom, and, um, and I've, I've acquired a number of bolts um, I think they're one and a quarter, one and a half inch um, bolts with the correct threading uh, that will thread without damaging anything into the bottom of the of the uh, the camera. Right? I, I just throw an, a washer on there because it needs a bit of um, a bit of extra. Uh, and I think just for grip, I'll, I'll explain this in a minute. I'm going to put an elastic band near the uh, near the hole so I put an elastic band um, down here lay it as flat as I can against right near the uh, right near where the hole is uh, get to explaining why in just a few seconds so we we'll thread this thread this hole this bolt through and um, screw it onto the camera And the elastic band there um, helps it to have kind of a non, kind of gives it a uh, uh, grip surface there. So now, because otherwise it will it will be loose. And now I can use this uh, as as a, as a uh, way of um, holding holding a camera and holding it in a, in a position that I can uh, animate. Um, so to affix the uh, the camera, which is now attached to its, its board, um, in, a, in a position to look down, um, you have to take some more extreme measures. So in this case, um, I've put a stool onto my table and clamped it on there. Um, it's a common stool. These these are clamps that you can find at any hardware store for. A few bucks they're not too expensive um, so that could work um, you can stack things 
but instead of books, you could stack with bricks and and have bricks holding the wood in place. You can you know just to kind of think outside the box, stack things so, so this holds. Um, I would actually prefer to have a second stool here. I just need to clear off the table and do that. A second stool and a second clamp, and then we'd be pretty good. So what you want is um, an, unobtrusive, an unobtrusive space here so that you can work, so you can reach your hands in here. You want to um, make sure if you have a, um, like as little cameras have, a little strap, that this doesn't hang down here because as we would see, um, the... Uh, I don't know if we can see. Yes, we can see that the strap is is in the is in the shot, and uh, would be very very distracting. Um, and you can zoom. So so the, the, uh, this little point and shoot has a zoom lens, and, and that would be fine. Um, but you can also zoom by uh, putting things underneath. So here, that's that's closer, and we can just keep zooming in by moving by by putting more and more things uh, here and then we our artwork becomes you know closer and closer to our lens. Um, we, we need to light this but we'll talk about that later.